Some people might say that you cannot compare the IBT 915 to the IBT 920. That would be totally unfair. I know, I'm doing it anyway. This is the iHome IBT 915, and just look at those RGB lighting effects. I hope you like them. They're the best part of the speaker. The IBT 915 comes with this removable nylon strap. You can remove the strap, but you can't remove the metal pieces holding it on. This speaker comes with a mostly standard set of controls, including these enormous plus and minus buttons. Those control your volume and your track selection. The play button here also doubles as the power button, although it doesn't really indicate that anywhere. This is your mode selection and the lighting effect selection. Despite having this enormous rubber cover, this is not a waterproof speaker. Behind this, you will find the USB-C charging port, the TF card slot, the USB memory stick slot, and a three and a half millimeter auxiliary input. In addition to all those features, it also supports an FM radio, but the reception is so bad, I don't even think I would advertise that. One good thing about this speaker, it has 34 hours of playback, 34 hours. That's incredible. Too bad it doesn't sound very good. When you first power up this speaker, it has this promising bass. Bluetooth mode. Looking for Bluetooth signal. Connected. But once you start listening to it, it just doesn't pan out for songs. And the high frequencies are even worse. I would compare this to when you're calling customer support and they put you on hold. That on hold music, that's kind of what this sounds like. Sure, it has TWS support, but why would you do that to yourself? The documentation said a 64 gigabyte TF card is supported. However, I put in a 128 gig SanDisk card and that worked just fine. But I tried a 32 gigabyte Samsung EVO card, did not work. The iHome IBT 915 doesn't sound good with any kind of music. This speaker is best for someone who doesn't know any better. I do think that market does exist, but I give it a two out of five stars. This is the iHome IBT 920, and I love this speaker. This is so much fun to use, and it's great for just about everybody. Just about. We'll get to that later. These are your mostly standard controls, and look how clearly labeled they are in contrasting ink. <laughs> Thank you. We've got the plus and minus for your volume and track controls. We have the power button here, play, pause, bass boost mode select, and lighting controls, in addition to your battery indicator. Isn't that nice? Do you really want to use bass boost? Yes, you do. On the back of the speaker, it looks like there might be a speaker grill back here, but there isn't. You are not getting any sound out of the back of this unit. However, you do get sound out of these passive radiators on either side. There is a rubber plug covering the ports. You're not getting waterproof claims out of this speaker, but they do call it splash resistant. Behind here, we have a three and a half millimeter auxiliary input port, your USB memory stick port, TF card slot, USB-C power port, and a quarter inch microphone port. You can use this for karaoke. Karaoke on a portable Bluetooth speaker? How good can that possibly be? Pretty good, it turns out. I use this for karaoke with my platinum microphones, and it sounded fantastic. In fact, I might even like it better than my regular karaoke machine for one reason. It adds reverb and I could use all the help I can get. iHome gives you this handy remote control. You don't even have to touch the buttons on the speaker if you don't want to. You get a LED lighting control, record to the TF card. There are even sound effects you can play if you want. That's right. They rate this speaker at 14 hours of battery life. I assume that's at moderate volume levels. You probably will not be using the speaker at moderate volume levels, but they tried. Of course, the speaker supports TWS. And if the budget allows, yes, get another one of these. It's going to sound fantastic. The IBT 920 is fun. It sounds good. It's not perfect, but I almost hate to complain about the things that I don't like. But I'm going to anyway. If you want to sing karaoke, but you don't have official karaoke songs, you can try using this button with the microphone crossed out. It will attempt to remove the vocal track, and it actually works. Sometimes, sometimes it removes the entire track, and sometimes it removes, like, the guitar. But 
It tries, and sometimes it does work. Another gripe is that this speaker is super picky with TF cards. I don't know if it's brand dependent, model dependent, capacity dependent, all of the above. This The function does work, but it's not consistent, and just be aware. Finally, and most seriously, this speaker does have distortion issues at the highest frequencies. It's a bass lover's dream, but if you're a fan of Cocteau Twins, eh, you might want to stay away. I'm a karaoke fan and I love bass. This speaker is awesome. And you know, I can listen to Cocteau Twins on some other device. Five out of five stars. Thanks for stopping by.